Lucia of Syracuse 283 also known as Saint Lucy or Saint Lucia Latin, Sancta Lucia, was a Christian martyr who died during the Diocletianic persecution. She is venerated as a saint by the Roman Catholic, Anglican, Lutheran, and Orthodox churches. She is one of eight women along with the Blessed Virgin Mary who are commemorated by name in the Canon of the Mass. Her feast day, known as Saint Lucis Day, is celebrated in the West on 13 December. Saint Lucia of Syracuse was honoured in the Middle Ages and remained a well-known saint in early modern England. Sources The oldest record of her story comes from the 5th century Acts of the Martyrs. The single fact upon which various accounts agree is that a disappointed suitor accused Lucy of being a Christian, and she was executed in Syracuse, Sicily, in the year 304 during the Diocletianic persecution. Her veneration spread to Rome, and by the 6th century to the whole church. The oldest archaeological evidence comes from the Greek inscriptions from the catacombs of St. John in Syracuse. Jacobus de Voragine's Legenda Aurea was the most widely read version of the Lucy legend in the Middle Ages. In medieval accounts, St. Lucy's eyes are gouged out prior to her execution. <laughs> life All the details of her life are the conventional ones associated with female martyrs of the early 4th century. John Henry Blunt views her story as a Christian romance similar to the acts of other virgin martyrs. According to the traditional story, Lucy was born of rich and noble parents about the year 283. Her father was of Roman origin, but died when she was five years old, leaving Lucy and her mother without a protective guardian. Her mother's name Eutychia seems to indicate that she came of Greek stock. Like many of the early martyrs, Lucy had consecrated her virginity to God, and she hoped to distribute her dowry to the poor. However, Eutychia, not knowing of Lucy's promise, and suffering from a bleeding disorder, feared for Lucy's future. She arranged Lucy's marriage to a young man of a wealthy pagan family. Saint Agatha had been martyred 52 years before during the Decian persecution. Her shrine at Catania, less than 50 miles from Syracuse attracted a number of pilgrims. Many miracles were reported to have happened through her intercession. Eutychia was persuaded to make a pilgrimage to Catania, in hopes of a cure. While there, Saint Agatha came to Lucy in a dream and told her that because of her faith her mother would be cured and that Lucy would be the glory of Syracuse, as she was of Catania. With her mother cured, Lucy took the opportunity to persuade her mother to allow her to distribute a great part of her riches among the poor. Eutychia suggested that the sums would make a good bequest, but Lucy countered. Whatever you give away at death for the Lord's sake you give because you cannot take it with you. Give now to the true Saviour, while you are healthy, whatever you intended to give away at your death." News that the patrimony and jewels were being distributed came to Lucius betrothed, who denounced her to Pascasius, the governor of Syracuse. Pascasius ordered her to burn a sacrifice to the emperor's image. When she refused Pascasius sentenced her to be defiled in a brothel. The Christian tradition states that when the guards came to take her away, they could not move her even when they hitched her to a team of oxen. Bundles of wood were then heaped about her and set on fire, but would not burn. Finally, she met her death by the sword. Absent in the early narratives and traditions, at least until the 15th century, is the story of Lucia tortured by eye gouging. According to later accounts, before she died she foretold the punishment of Pascasius and the speedy end of the persecution, adding that Diocletian would reign no more, and Maximian would meet his end. This so angered Pascasius that he ordered the guards to remove her eyes. Another version has Lucy taking her own eyes out in order to discourage a persistent suitor who admired them. When her body was prepared for burial in the family mausoleum it was discovered that her eyes had been miraculously restored. Veneration By the 6th century, her story was sufficiently widespread that she appears in the sacramentary of Pope Gregory I. She is also commemorated in the ancient Roman martyrology. 
Saint Aldhelm English, died in 709 and later the Venerable Bede English, died in 735 attest that her popularity had already spread to England, where her festival was kept in England until the Protestant Reformation, as a holy day of the second rank, in which no work but tillage or the like was allowed. Siegbert of Gembleu wrote a mid-11th century passio, to support a local cult of Lucy at Metz. The general Roman calendar formerly had a commemoration of Saints Lucy and Geminianus on 16 September. This was removed in 1969, as a duplication of the Feast of Her Dies Natalies on 13 December and because the Geminianus in question, mentioned in the Passio of St. Lucy, seems to be a fictitious figure, unrelated to the Geminianus whose feast is on 31 January. <inaudible> Relics Siegbert 1030 a monk of Gembleu, in his Sermo de Sancta Lucia, chronicled that her body lay undisturbed in Sicily for four hundred years, before Feirold II, Duke of Spoleto, captured the island and transferred the body to Corfinium in the Abruzzo, Italy. From there it was removed by the Emperor Otho I in 972 to Metz and deposited in the Church of St. Vincent. It was from this shrine that an arm of the saint was taken to the monastery of Lutberg in the Diocese of Speyer, an incident celebrated by Siegbert in verse. The subsequent history of the relics is not clear. According to Umberto Benini, Stephen II 768 sent the relics of St. Lucy to Constantinople for safety against the Saracen incursions. On their capture of Constantinople in 1204, the French found some relics attributed to St. Lucy in the city, and Enrico Dandolo, Doge of Venice, secured them for the monastery of St. George at Venice. In 1513 the Venetians presented to Louis XII of France the saint's head, which he deposited in the Cathedral Church of Borges. Another account, however, states that the head was brought to Borges from Rome, where it had been transferred during the time when the relics rested in Corfinium. The remainder of the relics remain in Venice. They were transferred to the Church of San Jeremia when the Church of Santa Lucia was demolished in 1861 to make way for the new railway terminus. A century later, on 7 November 1981, thieves stole all her bones, except her head. Police recovered them five weeks later, on her feast day. Other parts of the corpse have found their way to Rome, Naples, Verona, Lisbon, Milan, as well as Germany, France and Sweden. Patronage Lucis Latin name Lucia shares a root with the Latin word for light, lux. A number of traditions incorporate symbolic meaning of Saint Lucy as the bearer of light in the darkness of winter, her feast day being December 13. Because some versions of her story relate that her eyes were removed, either by herself or by her persecutors, she is the patron saint of the blind, she is also the patron saint of authors, cutlers, glaziers, laborers, martyrs, peasants, Perugia, Italy, saddlers, salesmen, stained glass workers, and writers. She is invoked against hemorrhage, dysentery, diseases of the eye, and throat infections, street. Lucy is also the patroness of Syracuse in Sicily, Italy. At the Piazza Duomo in Syracuse, the Church of Santa Lucia alla Badia houses the painting, Burial of Saint Lucy Caravaggio. She is also the patron saint of the coastal town of Olin, Ecuador, which celebrates with a week-long festival culminating on the feast day December 13. Saint Lucy is also the patron saint of the Caribbean island of Saint Lucia, one of the Windward Islands in the Lesser Antilles. Iconography The emblem of eyes on a cup or plate apparently reflects popular devotion to her as protector of sight, because of her name, Lucia from the Latin word, lux, which means, light. In paintings Saint Lucy is frequently shown holding her eyes on a golden plate. Lucy was represented in Gothic art holding a dish with two eyes on it. She also holds the palm branch, symbol of martyrdom and victory over evil. Other symbolic images include a lamp, dagger, or two oxen. In literature Dante Lucia appears in Dante's Inferno Canto II as the messenger sent to Beatrice from the Blessed Dame, the Virgin Mary, to rouse Beatrice to send Virgil to Dante's aid. Henry Fanshawe Tozer identifies Lucia as representing illuminative grace. 
According to Robert Harrison, professor in Italian literature at Stanford University, and Rachel Jackoff, professor of Italian studies at Wellesley, Lucia's appearance in this intermediary role is to reinforce the scene in which Virgil tries to fortify Dante's courage to begin the journey through the Inferno. In the Purgatorio X, 52 63, Lucy carries the sleeping Dante to the entrance to Purgatory. Then in Paradiso 32 Dante places her opposite Adam within the mystic rose in Canto 32 of the Paradiso. Lucy may also be seen as a figure of illuminating grace or mercy or even justice. <laughs> Dunn Her feast day was commonly described as the shortest day of the year, as it is in John Donne's poem, A Nocturnal Upon St. Lucy's Day, Being the Shortest Day. 1627. The poem begins with, "'Tis the year's midnight, and it is the day's." Lucia is also the protagonist of a Swedish novel, "'Ettljus i Morkret. A Light in the Darkness," by Agneta Hodin. <laughs> Popular celebration Lucis' feast is on 13 December, in Advent. Her feast once coincided with the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year, before calendar reforms, so her feast day has become a festival of light. This is particularly seen in Scandinavian countries, with their long dark winters. There, a young girl dressed in a white dress and a red sash as the symbol of martyrdom carries palms and wears a crown or wreath of candles on her head. In both Norway and Sweden, girls dressed as Lucy carry rolls and cookies in procession as songs are sung. It is said that to vividly celebrate St. Lucis Day will help one live the long winter days with enough light. A special devotion to St. Lucy is practiced in the Italian regions of Lombardy, Emilia-Romagna, Veneto, Friuli-Venezia-Giulia, Trentino-Alto Adige, in the north of the country, and Sicily and Calabria, in the south, as well as in Croatian coastal region of Dalmatia. The feast is a Catholic celebrated holiday with roots that can be traced to Sicily. On 13 of every December it is celebrated with large traditional feasts of homemade pasta and various other Italian dishes, with a special dessert of wheat in hot chocolate milk. The large grains of soft wheat are representative of her eyes and are a treat only to be indulged in once a year. In the north of Italy St. Lucy brings gift to kids between the 12th and 13 of December. Traditionally a bouquet of hay is put outside of the house for Lucy's donkey and food in the house for Lucy to refresh them after the long night bringing gifts to every kid. In small towns, a parade with St. Lucy is held the evening of the 12th when she goes through the main streets of the town munching sweets and candy from her cart, always together with her donkey. A Hungarian custom is to plant wheat in a small pot on St. Lucy's feast. By Christmas green sprouts appear, signs of life coming from death. The wheat is then carried to the manger scene as the symbol of Christ in the Eucharist. In the Philippines, villagers from Barangay Sta. Lucia in Magarao, Camarines Sur, hold a novena to St. Lucy nine days before her feast. A procession of the saint's image is held every morning at the Poblacion or village center during the nine days leading up to St. Lucy's Day, attracting devotees from other parts of the Bicol region. Hymns to the saint, known as the Gozos, as well as the Spanish version of the Ave Maria are chanted during the dawn procession, which is followed by a Mass. <laughs> <laughs> List of dedications to St. Lucy <laughs> <laughs> Churches Places <laughs> 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 Santa Lucia, Ilocos Sur, Philippines Santa Lucia, La Rioja, Argentina Santa Lucia, Magarao, Camarines Sur, Philippines Sta. Lucia Village Phase 4 Puntaran, Valenzuela City, Metro Manila Philippines St. Lucie County, Florida Barangay Sta. Lucia, Novaliches, Quezon City, Metro Manila Philippines Barangay Sta. Lucia, Pasig City, Metro Manila, Philippines St. Lucia Estuary, KwaZulu Natal, South Africa St. Lucia, Caribbean St. Lucia, Queensland, Australia Santa Lucia, Gozo Santa Lucia, Malta St. Lucie, Barbados, Caribbean Port St. Lucie, Florida, USA 
Santa Lucia Mountains, California, USA Sta. Lucia, Asturias, Cebu, Philippines Topic. Schools Sta. Lucia Elementary School, Bagong Sarong, Sta. Lucia, Magarao, Camarines Sur, Philippines Sta. Lucia Elementary School, Masantal, Pampanga, Philippines Sta. Lucia Elementary School, De Castro Subd, Barangay Sta. Lucia, Pasig City, Philippines St. Lucia's School, Cotahina, Colombo, Sri Lanka St. Lucie Catholic Elementary School, Brampton, Ontario, Canada Sta. Lucia High School Novaliches, Quezon City, Metro Manila Philippines Santa Lucia Catholic School, Chicago, Illinois, USA St. Lucis Priory High School, Glendora, California, USA St. Lucie Day School for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA St. Lucis School of Archdiocese of Pampanga, Sasmon, Pampanga, Philippines St. Lucis School, Bronx, New York, USA dedicated in 1955 Other The Order of St. Lucie, a religious order in Dallas, Texas St. Lucie Hill, otherwise known as Cerro Hulan, Santiago, Chile Venezia Santa Lucia Railway Station, Venice, Italy Sta. Lucia East Grand Mall, Cainta, Rizal, Philippines Topic. See also List of Eastern Orthodox Saints List of Roman Catholic Saints Saint Paraskevi, a female, Eastern Saint frequently displayed with eyes on a plate Saint Odile, another Saint of the Blind Topic. References Topic. External links Biography of Saint Lucy of Syracuse. CatholicSaints.info. Archived from the original on July 11, 2015. Saint Lucy of Syracuse. OrthodoxWiki.org. Archived from the original on December 20, 2011. M. Rezik, December 13, 2016. What we know about Saint Lucy. CatholicNewsAgency.com. Archived from the original on December 14, 2016. Books Jacobus de Voragin. Legenda Araya, Saint Lucy, Fordham.edu. Archived from the original on December 9, 2000. Saint Lucy of Syracuse, Patroness of the Blind. Archive.org. P. 6. Archived from the original on October 31, 2018. Dylan N. Dua H. S., Singh A. D., October 31, 2009. St. Lucy, the Patron of the Blind. British Journal of Ophthalmology. 2009 October, 93 10, 1275. PMID 19778987. Celebrations. The Life Story of St. Lucy. Family-Prayer.org. Archived from the original on December 17, 2012. St. Lucy and the Commemoration of 13 December. bbc.co.uk. July 31, 2007. Archived from the original on January 17, 2006. Iconography. Representations of St. Lucy. Christianiconography.info. Archived from the original on April 19, 2014. Retrieved October 31, 2018. Colonnade Statue St. Peter's Square. Archived from the original on March 4, 2016.